So 5G is obviously still a big part of every telco strategy and trying to figure out what to do best with their 5G assets. So I'm here with Eris Svedlov from uh, Nokia to talk about how 5G is developing. Eris, great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. So uh, 5G, we're getting to the next stage of 5G and it's really starting to take off in terms of subscriber uptake. You know, where are we with, uh, with, with 5G and, and where's the industry got to so far? So I think we are far from being ready. I think the problem of the industry today is we are spending a fortune as a CSPs on the 5G infrastructure. I, I read an article that we're spending about 40% of the annual capex on the infrastructure, on the connectivity part, but the return of investment is very, very poor, talking about between zero to 6%. And the CSP did not yet have any kind of ability to have a ROI for this. And this is a major issue because it is not sustainable over time. So, I mean, this is a, a massive challenge for, for all operators. So how can they think about monetizing this investment? So I've actually covered today in this morning session that they have to come and move from being CSP to DSP. They have to start finding services, finding, I would say, abilities to create, to create I would say, more content and more and more activities that actually will give the value for the end customer. I mentioned, for example, having an MVNO for a day or for a, a football match. Something that creates a value and put them higher in the value chain. I think this is critical for them in order to monetize this huge investment that they're currently having. So, I mean, you know, Nokia is, is very well known for its uh, network equipment and helping operators to build networks. So how can it help them with that part of the 5G equation? Thank you. It's, it's a very good question. While we are very strong, and this is a core competent in the network area, in the infrastructure area, radio, uh, routing, and so on, we also have the application, this application. This is where the value is actually is. We're talking about a relatively small investment of CAPEX, which have roughly about 40 to 60% ROI annually by having the right service given to the end customer. So I think the idea is to move, to move and add on the infrastructure that, of course, is, is a core competent into the next level, which is the application above it. It utilizes the strong infrastructure, but going to the next level, giving the end customer better services and better content and put the CSP, is a DSP now, in a higher, a, on, the, on the chain. Okay. Um, so, I mean, this is something that the operators have been talking about for, for a long time and looking to do. So, I mean, where are we in this kind of, you know, development of new applications and, and what can happen next? Uh, where, where are we in this stage? So, so I think there is a focus currently on three different type of areas in terms of, I would say, application. We have on the automation, automation. so basically trying to use the AI, artificial intelligence, and the deep knowledge of the customer in trying to find ways to automate services, seamless services, if it's at the home utility, if it's, a, it's around everything the customer does to understand better and doing things automatically. The other part, which is very, very important, it's about security, a very big topic. Both, I would say, data security, home security, everything about the, the access point for the end customer, this is an area which is extremely now important in the industry. The last one is about the part of monetization, how to make money, how to create more services, how to give more, because we can better utilize what we have as a network to actually give more services and find a different way to charge the end customer for this. So basically, it's called SAM. It's a security, automation, monetization. These three acronyms are the focus area, I think, that we have around the application. Okay. So uh, you have the technology to enable this. Are the service providers ready to embrace this and uh, develop these services and applications? I think they are, they are getting into it. I think they must get into it because, as I said before in the beginning, they cannot sustain this huge investment in the, in the network, in the connectivity, without having the application as part of it. We see more and more opening towards this. So I think in the next few years, you'll see much more focus on after they build this great infrastructure, the 5G SA, 5 uh, activity, into the application side, in order to make more money. And this is the, the sum 
application. Right. So, I mean, it is in many ways, it's still quite early days for 5G, but that ROI certainly needs to to improve for everybody in the industry. Erez, great to talk to you today. Thanks Thank very much, much for joining us. Thank you.